Now, your KSBW weather forecast with meteorologist Gina DeVecchio. Happy Sunday, everyone. Well, it sure is stormy out there. We're seeing accumulating rainfall, pockets of that very heavy. And here you can see down in Big Sur, the rain on the camera. This is the view from Nepenthe where it is soaking wet. You can see the trees waving around as well. So windy, wet conditions all across the region. If you're catching a break right now, it's not going to be for long. Now in Salinas, there is not seeing as much rainfall. You can still see it's wet on the camera, though. But Salinas really seeing some very high winds. There you can see south southeast 24 miles per hour and temperatures on the mild side. So in the 50s, that's one big difference from yesterday. But side that same old story, we're seeing some heavy rain making its way through, especially our southern areas right now. You can see that green showing the lighter and then the pockets of orange and red. That's where that rain really comes down and that makes it very difficult to drive in with it comes to visibility as well as that rain accumulating on the roadways. So keep it slow. At least the sun's out now. It's easier to see, but lots of debris in the road from the uh, rain and and the wind as well. So keep that in mind if you are driving around throughout today. Here you can see in the southern area is very heavy right now in the southern parts of Highway 101 and then that heavier rainfall about to approach north of Big Sur all the way to Monterey and then eventually making its way into much of the Monterey Bay. You can see that getting a little lighter, so hopefully that's the case because we don't need all this rain piling up. Speaking of some of those totals so far, look at this, almost three inches already in Santa Cruz. So Santa Cruz and Watsonville have seen some of the heaviest rainfall so far, as well as the Santa Cruz Mountains. Then you can see all these sensors down towards the south at six tenths of an inch, but just south of Big Sur, those bullseyes, those are indicating over a couple of inches of rain, and that's where we are going to see more rainfall expected where you have a little bit more lift. That's why the Santa Cruz Mountains have been seeing some impressive totals and then also down towards the south. So estimating over six more inches possible from Big Sur uh, into some of the southern parts of the mountains as well. And then many other locations about an inch and a half to even two inches. Uh, and then you can see as this continues through the middle of the week, another round on Tuesday could pile up a little bit more. But the heaviest of rainfall is going to continue today and tomorrow. Highest wind speeds as well. And that's that's going to be a concern with the saturated ground. So we do have a high wind warning for our coastal areas. That's where we could be seeing gusts over 50 to 60 miles per hour. Speaking of gusts, this is in the last 24 hours. You can see those 30s to 40s, 46 mile per hour gusts in Salinas. You can see even though the numbers aren't working on there, the contour showing those uh, 50 or 60 mile per hour gusts. Taking a look at the bigger picture, you can see that range is still coming in fueling in from the south, so at least it's warm, but still cold up at the highest parts of the Sierra above 7,000 feet, seeing that accumulating snowfall. Still winter warnings in place until tomorrow. Then you can see that little break maybe Monday. Still going to see shower chances Monday into Tuesday, but it's not expected to be as heavy. So throughout tomorrow, we'll see that decreasing. And then as we get into Tuesday, you're going to see some more heavy rain. Wednesday to Thursday is our chance of a break. So as we take a look at the extended forecast, I want to get through this model run for if you're planning at the end of the week. Looks like it's going to be late Thursday into Friday that this next system comes our way. That one's going to be a colder one. But if you're making plans for next weekend, don't cancel things yet. Look at this for Saturday showing that perhaps that system moves out of there. Of course, this is one forecast model. A few others are showing some showers, but it doesn't look like it's going to be as heavy of rainfall as we're seeing this weekend. So impact days today, tomorrow, chance of showers for much of the week, but that little break in the middle of the week and perhaps into next weekend. We'll keep a close eye on it, though. And as for today, just keep it slow out there. You know, don't be afraid to be that driver like I was yesterday. You know, the speed limit 60. It's OK to go 45 or in the well rain under or 40. It, yeah. Yes, exactly. And I don't care if you're staring at me or tailing. I'm me. not embarrassed <laughs> about it. Nope, yeah. it's better than me spinning out exactly. and causing a mess exactly. out there. Exactly, or slamming right into someone's bumper. Exactly. Oh, man, probably a reminder too to maybe beef up those emergency kits you have at home for That's when the power comes out. That's very good advice. Yes. Yeah, definitely. Thank mm -hmm. you, Gina. <laughs>